Maybe to see the collisions of an ideal gas to derive at the end the velocity of the of the molecules. But before we need to pass for the pressure, kinetic energy, etc. So let's begin. Let's suppose here we have a a wall. This this is the wall. Let's say the wall A. Um, here we have the ideal gas, and here we have particles. These particles will collide with this wall. This is the wall that made us. So let's analyze these particles. This particle will collide something like this. This particle has the v sub x. This is the velocity, the x component on the velocity. This is the y component of the velocity. So when in, let me call this v sub 1. And when it returns, so it collides here and then returns, it will go now on this direction. So now the, the vector of the velocity in the y component is the same, v sub y, so v1, v2, and this, this time now the molecule goes towards this side, so this is called vx sub 2. So it's going by um, Newton's first law. It's going the v x one, v x one is the same as the v x two, just that with different symbols or signs. So v x sub one is negative. If we multiply by negative, we have this positive. Or you can think it as v sub x one is equal to the negative absolute value of v sub x and v sub x2 is equal to the positive absolute value of v sub x. All right, now, um, the, let's say we have all these number of particles and on the time interval dt, there, there were collisions. So at what distance do a, a particle it needs to to be at the beginning of this time of dt in order to collide with the wall at the end of dt. That is, velocity is equal to distance over time. So time is already in distance because it's equal to velocity times time. So the distance would be velocity or the absolute value of the velocity in this case times dt. So all these particles that will collide on the wall at the end of the interval of the time dt uh, have to be at a distance uh, of, of v x times dt. And this distance is a, a look here I have this wall. We have all the walls. This wall. I have here a cylinder that has the the base a. This is the base a, and this distance is the v sub x times dt. That means that this base is you know here we have the wall, and here we have the cylinder. So this is the base of the cylinder. The base is the base A. I will call this base A because I'm I'm talking, for example, of a wall, this wall with area A. All right. So in this wall, um, you know the the molecules, for example, that is uh, here, no, here, will collide as the uh, uh, sorry that is. Uh, here, this all oh, this is the is the length, Vx dt. So the molecule that is, for example, here has a distance of Vx dt, but also the molecule that is here, Vx dt, the x distance is the same, just the y distance changes, but the x distance is the same. So all these molecules around this, uh, in this case, would be a in here would be a cycle, but all these would also collide. Uh, at a uh, time less, but within this time, 
routine dt. So now, um, the so the the all these particles will collide. Uh, yes, on, on this time interval, half of the oh, oh, well, so uh, first, what is the the number of of particles on this cylinder? Let's say n. N is the number of particles that we have here. If we want to find n, look. Um, what's the volume of the cylinder? Volume is equal to area times distance. But here the distance is velocity times time. Also, this is the uh, continuity uh, continuity equation of a fluid. So, um, you have, um, let, let's say, that the number of molecules per volume is uniform. So, n over b is uniform. So, n would be equals to n over volume times volume. But here it's n over volume times the velocity. Uh, sorry, <laughs> this velocity here forgot this area. It's the area times the velocity x times time. So this is the number of, of molecules that we have. This is n, the number of molecules that we have on the cylinder. And now, how, how many molecules will collide on this time interval? Is on uh, the cylinder, around half of the, of the molecules are going towards the wall and half are going away. So half of the molecules will be colliding in that interval. So one half of n over b times a, the area times the velocity, dt. This is the number of molecules, this is the uh, number of collisions that will occur on the dt interval. Now in, in the next video we will talk about the pressure exerted by these molecules on the walls.